I'd like to call the City of Marine City Commission meeting to order. Marine City Fire Hall, 200 South Parker, Thursday, September 21st, 2017, 7 p.m. We all stand for a prayer. to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. You are now the <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Mayor Vandenbach. Here. Commissioner Avery. Here. Commissioner Hendricks. Here. Commissioner Clausen. Here. Commissioner Lovely. Here. Commissioner Simpson. Here. Commissioner Turner. Here. City Manager Love. Here. Can I get a motion to accept and file communications pending agenda items and Elizabeth McDonald's election official accreditation program? So moved. Support. Any questions or concerns on that? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. <coughs> Public comment. Residents are welcome to address the City Commission. Please state your name and address and please limit your comments to five minutes. Rosalie Squires, 211 Michigan. I'm the longest resident of Mariner's Landing condos, 22 years now. First, I want to talk about, um, there was a mistake regarding, uh, we were, I was given an invitation to um, attend the DPW workers, firefighters, and police officers a service of honor at Heritage Square Park. It was Sunday during Heritage Days. Um, I thought it was very wonderful. I thought our own attorney here did a wonderful, wonderful speech on what heritage was. I thought he did a really good job. But there was one thing left out, is uh, I was included on, on being on the historical board, but there was one thing that I wasn't included on. There was something that I've been an elected official in my precinct for close to 20 years. At least I know it started in the early parts of 2000 at least, maybe it was before then is I'm a precinct delegate for the Republican Party, and there's also re precinct delegates for the Democratic Party. It's a very important thing that we have because if you're a precinct delegates, out of the delegates, you get elected to go to conventions on your own dime. And my husband and I have dead, attended many conventions at Mackinac Island, many in Lansing, Grand Rapids, and coming up in Aug next August, it, we're the ones that choose who's going to be the candidate for um, Secretary of State and Attorney General. And for the last several decades, it happens to be Republicans that have gotten elected. So it's really important, our positions, because we're the ones that put them in. So I felt bad that I wasn't uh, included in that at the, when people were honored. But hey, it goes on. But I do want to express a real concern I have. I'm going to read for a letter that I wrote to the editor back in 2008 when we were celebrating uh, ADA was 18 years, uh, uh, years at that time. Now it's over 25 years old. And according to the U.S. Department of Justice, the American Dis with, with Disability Act of 1990 gives civil rights protection to individuals with disabilities equal to those provided to individuals on the basis of race, color, sex, national origin, age, and religion. It guarantees equal opportunity for individuals with disabilities in all programs, activities, and services of public ent entities. It outlaws discrimination against a person with a disability in housing, public accommodation, employment, government services, transportation, and telecommunication. It mandates the removal of barriers, assuring people with disabilities full participation in American society. According to the 2005 U.S. Census, 
37.5 million people age five and over in the civilian population have a disability. This represents 14% of our population. These individuals fit at least one of the following descriptions. They are five years old or older and have a sensory, physical, mental, or self-care disability. They are 16 years or older and have difficulty going outside the home, or they are 16 to 64 years old and have an employment disability. 8% of boys and 14% of girls ages 5 to 15 have disabilities. 12% of men and 11% of women ages 16 to 64 have disabilities. 42% of women and 38% of men 65 or older have disabilities. As of 2003 U.S. Census, facts say 2.5 million veterans receive compensation for service-related disabilities. For the protection of the American Disabilities Act gives the above population and others a day to celebrate. We celebrate our progress towards an America where people with disabilities are recognized for their talents and many contributions to our society. This is a day to celebrate compassion, a day to celebrate their, that fair, swift, and effective enforcement of this landmark civil rights legislation be done. Okay, that was back in 2008, and these statistics have risen. But you know, I was really disappointed the parking, one's parking spot that we used to have at City Hall was blocked, so it couldn't be used by anybody with a disability. We had lots of things going on on Heritage Days, I saw signs for, with people that had mobility issues could not have gone upstairs. We used to have a wheelchair ramp. I used to use it. When I moved here, I, had a, I used to use canes. I have lupus. That's a, bil that's a disease that has uh, t times when it's more active and less active. Plus, there's other disabilities I have that I'm not going to rattle off. But that said, um, we honored a man that was in a wheelchair. We gave him a Purple Heart, yet he could not have attended any of our programs. You know, this does not reflect good in our town. We need to get on the ball and make sure our activities are done so that everybody can access them because we're, being, we're discriminating. And you know, we even blocked a parking space for Maritimes Day. I'm gonna say one more thing. You know, people don't realize this. This is, a federal, this is a federal road, Water Street. And I could not get, use my handicapped parking permit to, to, to park at the post office for Maritimes Day because it was blocked. This has to end. We have to get, start abiding by the law. Anyone else like to speak? Hearing none, moving on to approval of the agenda. I make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Support. Anyone have any questions, additions, or deletions to the agenda? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Need approval for the City Commission regular minutes, September 7th, 2017. I move to approve the City Commission regular meeting minutes, September 7th, 2017, as presented. Anyone have uh, corrections or deletions on the minutes or questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Moving on to the consent agenda. I need a motion to approve the monthly activity reports, the Marine City Area Fire Authority run reports, Zoning Board of Appeals minutes, August 2nd, Planning Commission minutes, August 14th, special event permit for the Girl Scouts International River Crossing, and the business license for Marine City Chiropractic. Mr. Avery. I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda as just read. Support. Anyone, any concerns on that? Roll call vote, please. Mr. Avery. Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Moving on to unfinished business. We're up to the sidewalk RFP. I have been working with Mike Itrich, the DPW director and the attorney on drafting a request for proposal to put out for bids for the sidewalk replacement program. Um, I believe about six months ago or so, 
um, Mike had put before you uh, RFP uh, we have added quite a bit of language to that in working with the attorney the only thing that we really have left at this point is to get the final tally of the number of sidewalks that we would be replacing uh, we're looking for approval of the language as written here for the request for proposals so that we can go out and do the advertisement for bids and hopefully have that information back to you for either the first or second meeting in October. Um, upon approval, I would be working with Mike to finalize all of the information for the numbers and uh, figure out a schedule. Mr. Avery. We accept and publish the sidewalk RFP. Support. Questions? Um, it says here that you should have a map attached, but there wasn't one attached to. Yeah, we'll, we'll have the map attached when we go off of this. And you'll actually, we might actually reference it in the ad. Um, or possibly do something small and say either see the website or come to the office for a bid package and that'll have the map with it. But I know we've had discussions that I think there was a lot of sidewalks missed. So I don't know how we're going to handle that. Um. Now, one, one of the things that we had to do was keep the initial estimate down to that 75000 that we earmarked for the program because if for some reason everybody elected to have the city do the town or I'm sorry do the sidewalks for them we had to have the money to be able to bankroll that true the, the issue was though that we were trying to go after the worst of the worst and some of those weren't put in here yeah. so I, I think we're gonna have to reevaluate how we do the next section next year so and that's thing. certainly something that we can bring back to the Commission when we start doing the next section what worked what didn't yeah. and what kind of maybe yeah. maybe mm -hmm. better define the criteria yeah. for when we mark the sidewalks? Okay. Any other questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Move on the police department capital outlay purchase. From the memo that you have before you from the police chief. In the budget that we worked for this year, he had outlaid $4,000 for an evidence technician camera. Um, unfortunately, they have had some issues with their in-car computers, and with that, they're looking to, in other words, reprioritize their capital expenditures for this budget year. Uh, the criteria for these in-car computers and working with the Clemens system in Oakland County has a certain set of parameters that are required for the um, equipment. Jim provided all of the information there and one of the issues with that is that it becomes very difficult to get competitive bidding for something when it's so specific. So he is looking for waiving competitive bidding. Um, ultimately this really becomes a sole source provider in essence and looking for approval to purchase two of them um, I believe each at a cost of two thousand fifty dollars. Um, I'll make a motion to waive competitive bidding uh, for four thousand. I mean, he's got two thousand fifty, so it's going to be a little bit more than four thousand dollars. Right, four thousand one hundred. I know, but he's just got four thousand here. Oh, yeah. So, in the tune of four thousand one hundred dollars for the capital outlay of the. Um, in car computers. Support. Uh, well, any questions or concerns on the waiving of the competitive bids? Roll call vote, please. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Luckley. Yes. Commissioner Simpson. Yes. Commissioner Turner. Yes. Mayor Vandenbosch. Yes. Commissioner Avery. Yes. Motion carries. Um, I'll make a motion that we approve the capital outlay of $4,100 for the in-car computers. Support. Any questions on the computers? I was hoping to get Sergeant Westrick up here. He didn't look like he wanted to get up here. <laughs> we haven't voted on it yet. <laughs> 
But any questions or concerns on the purchase of the cameras? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Uh, Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Lovely. Yes. Commissioner Simpson. Yes. Commissioner Turner. Yes. Commissioner Bandavage. Yes. Commissioner Avery. Yes. Commissioner Harris. Yes. All right. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Next, we're moving on to financial business disbursements, including payroll for $2,897,394.37. I move to approve disbursements, including payroll of $2,897,394.37. Any questions or concerns on that? Yes. Um, I see we have the bill in here for the other lawyer that the TIFA board hired. Did we ever get a legal opinion? We did not get a formal written opinion. I did finally get an email that uh, they passed out or they discussed. at the Tuesday meeting a copy of the email. Um, board member Tisdale had inquired in a different format. We never did get the question, but we got the answer. Um, from what we can I get a copy of that, I guess, as well? Yep, yeah, I can provide a copy to everyone. All right, that's my only question. Then. Any other questions? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Lovely. Yes. Commissioner Simpson. Yes. Commissioner Turner. Yes. Commissioner Bielabash. Yes. Commissioner Avery. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. No. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Moving on to the preliminary financial reports. Need a motion to receive and file. So moved. And support. Any questions on the preliminary financial reports? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Ma uh, city manager's report. I attended several different unique meetings over the last couple of weeks. A, there was a public input meeting for regional transportation plan up at the county. Uh, there was also a community health improvement plan committee kickoff meeting. Um, I attended Blue Meets Green and Planning Commission. Regarding Planning Commission, they had some revisions to their uh, complete draft of the master plan. They will be having that at their next meeting and hopefully it will soon be forwarded to City Commission for review. Bike repair station and racks have been received and hopefully they'll be installed within the next couple of weeks. Uh, National Voter Registration Day is Tuesday, September 26th. So Marine City residents can come into the office between 8 and 6 p.m. with a photo ID to register to vote. That's it. Um, just a question. How are things going with the tot lot? I know we've had a lot of damage over there, and I know you were looking into a possible camera. Um, is there anything moving forward with that um, on Main Street? I haven't got anything to report back yet. Okay. Right. Anybody have any qu other questions for the city manager? Okay. City attorney want to comment on anything today? No? This is a good meeting. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mr. Avery, would you like to start us out today on Commissioner Privilege? All right. I would like to thank the residents of Marine City who supported the Heritage Day Festival, which celebrates the heritage of Marine City and especially. 150th anniversary of Marine City. I was pleased to see the support from the city commission, the first responders who were there to be honored for justifiably for the service they provide and other people who function for the city. Uh, I was a little disappointed to see that there were some absences also, but it came off very well. I believe it shows that there is an interest in Marine City for 
recognizing the heritage of how we got here and the value that has toward making this a good place for people to live. Thank you. We had one, one crisis. I don't know if you can get a good picture of this lost dolly, but she was found over by the llamas. And if you know anybody to whom she might belong, can we leave her at City Hall so somebody could pick her up if she, if they find her? She she needs her hair done, but she she uh, survived it quite well. Uh, also, just one thing before I forget it: uh, next year, remind us we need to have the restrooms open at the beach for the day, for those days, because uh, we did have a couple of incidents where that was. But I, uh, this is a dangerous thing to do, but I want to thank everybody. Uh, instead of counting in the hundreds, we were counting in the thousands for this event. Uh, and we're forever grateful for that. And uh, uh, it was just a wonderful event to be a part of. I am uh, just thrilled to have been a part of it. Uh, we had the following uh, organizations and businesses that either gave us money, gave us time, gave us product. Uh, Community Pride and Heritage, the Eagle Air Sports, Frank Real Estate, Great Lakes Arts and Antiques, JD Collision, Historical Society of Marine City, Young's Funeral Home, Materials Unlimited, McDonald's, Schultz Management, Marine City Civic Women's Club, Newport Clippers, Parkside Printing, Vera Grace Emporium, Riviera Restaurant, The Sweet Tooth, Marine City Area Chamber of Commerce, Wanzi Services, Vandenbosch Farms, Westrick Associates Incorporated, Nickel and Saf Incorporated, River Wreck Teen Zone, The Blue Mitt, The Corner Grocery, Food on the Move, Marine City Gunsmith, and 235. I probably have left out a few, but um, I want to thank everybody. Also, some individuals. Um, our guest of honor on Sunday, Robert J. Fultz, um, and for his service and, and dedication and sacrifice to the city. Mr. Robert Davis, our, our speaker, uh, who did a, a great job of uh, uh, encapsulating for us through a funnel uh, the uh, idea of heritage and how important it is to honor those on whose shoulders we stand. Uh, I'd like to thank Chief Heslip. Uh, Mike Ittrich, Chief Slangster, Mayor Vandenbosch, uh, who cried for the camera. We like that very much. <laughs> Thank you so much. And also CTV uh, uh, videoed the service on Sunday, so you can go online and, and see that. And also EBW TV, which is the countywide, uh, did a documentary on the building that you can go online and watch. I'd also like to want, uh, thank, again, our honorees, the DPW, uh, the Marine City Fire Authority, and the Marine City Police Department. And I had a, a long uh, visit today with Officer Thor. If you don't know Officer Thor, uh, he's a Danish working dog uh, and is over here and, and is one of our officers. And he had such a good time. He's coming back next year and bringing his friend Gretchen. And they're going to do a demonstration for us. So. We're looking forward to that. It's always good to come to the end of an event and have people saying, you know, next year I'm going to do this or do that. So I was just absolutely, absolutely thrilled with that. So thank you, uh, everybody, uh, for that great event and, and the things that we're moving forward with. And Mr. Um, Hubert Smith's light uh, will be wired up within the next couple of weeks and uh, we'll be casting some more light on our wonderful subject. Thank you, everybody, and all these people that came. Not bad. Uh, I also want to add uh, my general thanks to everyone that uh, participated in uh, Make Heritage Day possible and um, all the city staff and um, everyone that uh, gave of their own time to show up um, um, to participate in the ceremony. I know the weekends are very, very busy and uh, we just appreciate people coming out and uh, 
for some long overdue recognition. I uh, also want to remind uh, everyone out there that uh, uh, the Pumpkin Palooza registration still continues. We're again shooting for the uh, uh, Guinness World Record for most simultaneously carved pumpkins. So you want to go out and just search uh, Pumpkin Palooza in Marine <coughs> City and uh, you want to go ahead and register for your pumpkin and kit so you can make sure that you're all uh, in line ready. And uh, it's a fun event. Um, we, we attempted for it last year and it's uh, um, I hope that we uh, get it this year, but it's just a lot of fun. It's family friendly and I encourage everyone to kind of go out and um, uh, make sure you're squared away well before the event for planning purposes. So. Um, uh, I want to apologize for not being able to make your ceremony, but I was attending, I had a prior commitment, I was attending a cancer benefit for a friend of ours, so that was the only reason why we couldn't attend. So, and that's all I have for today. Um. Yeah, I was very. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, I was very. Uh, I didn't think I'd be as emotional talking about Dale, and it uh, caught a nerve. Um, we spent that whole day working with Dale. That day he passed, and it was. Uh, it really hit me right there. And uh, thanks for letting me do that. I do appreciate it, and it meant a lot. So thank you very much. Um, pumpkins will be setting up on the Friday before, hopefully all 1,200, and we'll need help that day. I know I've got one of my volunteers who'll help me out. He, he was vital last year. He kept cars from running into me. <laughs> it, it's a little cramped up there, but it was a lot of fun setting up last year, and I, I was amazed on all the volunteers we had last year and how fast we could set up 1,200 pumpkins. We did 1,000 last year, but... Hopefully we can do all 1,200 this year. So, other than that, it's warm out again, and hopefully she cools back off a little bit. Can I get a motion for adjournment? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs>